Hi, this is Richard Byrne. In this video, we're going to take a look at how you can create your own Google custom search engine. You can do that by going to csc.google.com. Now, I'm already signed in in another window here, so let's take a look at how we do this. Select New Search Engine, and then start entering the sites that you want your search engine to index. So, for example, I might start with something like freetechforteachers.com but you can be very specific on your site search and you could even search a specific page of a site if you wanted to uh, in this case we'll put in Larry Perlazzo's site and let's say we found a large website and there's many subsections to it we want to have students just search a part of it so for example let's say we were on history.com now if students were to search history.com they'd have information from all over the place maybe I want them to search just within the topics section and not the entire site so what I'll do is I'll grab that URL history.com slash topics and that way it will index just that part of the history.com website as opposed to the entire thing now there is not a limit to the number of sites you can put in here you can always go back in and remove a site we'll do our search in English name the search engine by default it will name it after the first site that you enter but we can call this one Mr. Burns custom search engine and create it. Now there's a bunch of ways that you can have this appear on your own site. First of all you can go to the public URL and you can simply put that link on your classroom blog or your school website you could also go in and select get code and you can grab this code and you could paste that into the sidebar of your uh, blog or website and have it appear there as a part of the uh, as a part of the website itself so people didn't have to click out to a different site in order to search now if I want to edit that search engine so I'll select Mr. Burns custom search here under edit search engine. We can go to setup. And if we want to remove a site or add a site, scroll down to sites to search and you can add or delete a site. If you want to change the look and the feel of it, you have those options there. And under our search features, this is a feature set up more for people who are using this as a tool to generate money on a website or blog. So you're going to turn those off by default. So that's how you can create your own Google custom search engine. And for more tips and tricks like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com.